More and more smartphones are becoming long-term investments with the ticket prices being close to, or even exceeding, the $1,000 mark. So when Xiaomi launched its Pocophone brand and subsequently the Pocophone F1 nine months ago, it's safe to say that the Chinese giant shook up the market. But how does 2018's budget beast hold up in 2019? Well, in our second episode of Redux, we're gonna find out. Xiaomi is well known for its great software support and the Pocophone F1 is no exception. The device has already had an OS upgrade from 8.1 Oreo to 9.0 Pi, and if the company's track record is anything to go by, this phone should at least get Android Q in Q4 of 2019. Jay Manny, the head of product for the Pocophone brand, replied to a tweet on the 28th of October 2018, saying that the F1 will at least get P and Q, so we'll have to hold the brand to that when it comes to the next big Android update. General software updates seem to come every two weeks, and some of those have had a fantastic effect on the Pocophone's camera, which we'll get to later. A particularly crucial update to those film fanatics of you was released in February, where the phone finally got Widevine L1 certification, allowing for Netflix and Amazon Prime video playback at HD resolutions. Before this, only 480p was offered, so I'm glad that we got that issue resolved. The specs of the F1 easily compete in 2019, as we have a year-old flagship SoC and plenty of RAM in both 6 and 8GB configurations. As a gaming phone, the device performs well and is still smooth and speedy with minimal hangs, so needless to say that general performance is just as good. Camera performance has improved significantly since the launch of the Pocophone F1, not only giving us 960 FPS slow-mo, but also in a beta 4K60. Image quality, sharpness, dynamic range and colour accuracy have all dramatically improved thanks to the far better image processing. Portrait mode is probably the main weakness, even after all of those awesome improvements. The omission of wide and zoom lenses on this device makes it feel kind of outdated. We're even seeing these extra focal lengths on low to mid-range units, so missing them here is kind of a big deal. The display is the weakest factor of the Pocophone in my opinion. Its backlight bleeding and shadowing issues can't be resolved via a software update, however the sharpness and colours look pretty good, even by 2019 standards. The Pocophone F1 does miss out on a few crucial features that we see in 2019 smartphones, such as the in-display fingerprint scanner, water droplet notch, hole punch, or even glass back with wireless charging, but I feel like those emissions are more than made up for the fact that you get such a good spec in a phone of that price. Battery life is still great, partly due to the reasonably large 4000 mAh cell used here, but also due to Xiaomi's aggressive task killing, something that hasn't changed since launch. Whether the latter is good or bad will depend on your personal preference, but a full day of usage is more than achievable for pretty much everyone. Brand new, you can get a Pocophone F1 for $300, €300 Euros, or £250 on sites like eBay, and if you're willing to go used, you're gonna save even more money there. This puts it in the mid-range sector of the market, inhabited by the Galaxy A50, the LG Q7 Plus, and the Moto G7, all devices that shadow in the raw horsepower of the Pocophone F1. We believe the F1 to be a fantastic value, even in today's market, and considering it's slightly lower price than at launch, and with those added benefits from the software updates, we feel like it's possibly a better value than it was when it was first released. The F1 ticks so many boxes in the spec department, but just in case the Pocophone F1 isn't your cup of tea, here are a couple of alternatives that we recommend. For around 100 USD more, the newly released Pixel 3a looks to be a great option for you shutterbugs. A refurbished LG G7 ThinQ is also a great option due to its similar spec config and massive feature set, including weather resistance. The Pocophone F1 is a fantastic phone in 2019. And sure, it misses out on a few things, you know, the design isn't quite as nice as a lot of people would like, it hasn't got a glass back, it doesn't feel very premium, especially compared to some of its mid-range contemporaries, but I feel like its form over function mantra with still competitive specs and superb value mean that it's definitely worth a buy in 2019. We're excited to see what the Pocophone F2 will bring and we'd like to hear your thoughts about that in the comments below. And with that, it's time for me to go. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here to never miss a video like this one, and check all the links in the video description. My name's been Ryan Thomas with Android Authority, and I'll see you later. Peace.